If you're like me, you were raised on Disney and Sir David Attenborough. This is a catastrophe! And you're probably thinking, of course, animals can feel things. They're alive. But we can see why this is a debate if we look at the old family tree. So we're here with the other mammals. We share an ancestor that lived around 200 million years ago. And our line diverged from that of the reptiles and birds a bit earlier. Together, we make up the tetrapods, which left the ocean and split off from the fish lineage over 400 million years ago. And then when you get to the invertebrates, like octopus, squid, crabs, and insects, our common ancestor with them would have been a very primitive worm-like thing that lived more than half a billion years ago. So their brains and ours developed completely independently. We ended up with a neocortex, that's the wrinkly outer layer of our brains. It's an important part for our pain perception, and it's unique to mammals. Birds do have something similar, so scientists seem to agree that at least mammals and birds are sentient. 